Hello and welcome to the New Haven Museum. My name is Jason Bischoff Forrest, curator of the exhibit Factory. Factory tells the post-industrial underground history of the New Haven Clock Company. The colorful history of this building was often hidden in plain view. The Paper Mache Video Institute, or PMVI, was founded in 1978 by Paul Rutkowski. The group focused on activist art of a transient nature, not typically found in museums or galleries. They took on issues of feminism, war, capitalism, elitism, urban renewal, and TV monoculture, with works of music, dance, poetry, visual art, performance, mixed media, and of course, paper mache and video. Rutkowski and crew established their work and exhibition space on the wide open fourth floor on the north side of the factory. They had open reign to create freely and host events, gradually spreading and taking over the space along Hamilton Street as well. Rutkowski, a fellow at Harvard's Institute for the Study of the Avant-Garde, who showed his work at cutting edge galleries such as New York City's Franklin Furnace, saw museums and galleries as exclusive cathedrals for art, entrenched in the capitalist elitist art world. He sought to foster creativity in all people by engaging them in the creation of art. PMVI shows included opportunities to be videotaped, smashing TVs, to make Xerox art, or to compete in the annual Miss America spectacle, which was open to men as well as women. When Rukowski became a professor at Florida State University, Colleague Beverly Ritchie took over and did groundbreaking work in feminist art and the subject of food as a political statement. She was a driving force behind PMVI's legendary One Day Only 1984 exhibition, which had a crowd of over 700 visitors lining up the block. The roots of the current New Haven art scene is born out of the work done here. Anti-establishment, avant-garde, underground work that broke completely with the ethos of what was studied or coming out of Yale, or other local colleges, art schools.